so I believe the church in Panama is somewhere just around 30 years, 40 years old, I guess. There's one mission in the whole country. I believe that the church is kind of new in that area relative to like Guatemala. I think it's older in Mexico. There's a little more presence. I think that uh, part of the reason why it's a little newer is with the declaration to uh, that all member, all worthy male members could receive the priesthood. So I think there are a lot of blacks in Panama, and so that's part of why um, the church is kind of newer in that area. It's growing, growing pretty fast, but definitely not like the strong point of Central America, you'd say, in the church. So uh, lots of opportunities to meet people and especially like of uh, many different faiths. I think in uh, other, in early church um, proselyting, they were probably running more into Catholics because there weren't uh, many other churches, but I think in Panama there are actually a wide variety of churches with evangelicals and Jehovah Witness and Catholics, so you get to see lots of perspectives on Christianity and learn from them and um, provide uh, knowledge that we have in sharing the gospel. I think when I was there, there were about seven zones. I'd guess around seven stakes, something like that. But it ranges mostly from the west coast uh, with Costa Rica to just past the city in like Tocumen area and uh, like Brisa, Del Golf, something like that. Because like on the east side, the church, there are members there, but there aren't uh, missionaries serving there in the Darien area uh, because that's with the border with Colombia and it's a little more dangerous. And with my experience, uh, I'd say it was about half and half. I was with uh, branches and wards. Uh, some of the wards uh, probably could have been uh, branches, but um, I believe that kind of the policy with my mission present was to try to I uh, let the local leaders um, kind of take control and uh, guide the church rather than having the members depend so much on the mission and the missionaries with uh, branches and districts. But yeah, I was in a ward where it would have like an attendance of around 80. Um, I was in a branch with about 30 people and like half of those were um, young men. and That was a fun one. <laughs> so. Sometimes the missionaries had to step up and teach young men and kind of, I mean, that's a key leader in that circumstance where most of the ward are young men. So <laughs> wonderful opportunities to interact with the members and um, trying to help empower them and um, get the church progressing kind of self-sufficient with the membership there. A lot of people say it's a beautiful temple um, kind of in the jungle area. It's, so you can see it uh, when you're going in, when ships come in through the canal, in the Panama Canal, and you can see it kind of on the hillside there, in the trees. Um, when you get there, it's uh, very, it contrasts a lot with the city. It's like really loud. There are lots of um, obnoxious uh, school buses painted. They call them Diablo Rojos. And... I would say, like, that's kind of the epitome of, I mean, that's the Panama City life, kind of busy, crazy, um, loud. But when you go to the um, temple area, it's super peaceful and contrasts quite amazingly. And you can feel the spirit. We've taken investigators to the temple grounds, and uh, they could feel the spirit there. And uh, that's actually one of the good uh, missionary tools that we have in Panama, kind of showing people the temple, talking about it a little bit. So, so I got to visit it five or six times. Um, it really depends on your areas where you're at. So when I was uh, far further west in the interior, like you have less opportunities to go to the temple when you're there. But when you're in the city, I believe like the policy while I was a missionary was like every other uh, transfer the 
missionaries of his own could go visit the temple if you're within a reasonable distance. So I think uh, a lot of it had to do with communicating with your mission president and um, getting that approved. But yeah, they encouraged us to visit the temple. And it was good. With so many visits, I got to uh, know the ceremony in Spanish uh, pretty good. And it was a good experience to visit the temple while in Panama.